future Sabercats. We are so thrilled to be with you today to give you some information on enrollment for next year. I am Mrs. Inglis and I am the sixth grade counselor at Summit Trail. I also have the seven silver team as well that I work with. Hi guys, my name is Mrs. Short and I am the other counselor here at the summit. And although I don't normally work with sixth grade, um, I'm still around um, if you ever need anything and Miss Inglis isn't, isn't here, uh, but I am responsible for the seventh grade black team and all of eighth grade. Yes. Um, we are going to share some information with you. We, we want to start by introducing our administration team. And I'm going to get our PowerPoint going here. Um, yeah, we have uh, Mr. Sig. He is our principal here and he you'll see him every day greeting you in the car loop in the morning and he is a great person a dynamic leader and you'll uh, enjoy getting to know him as well as our other uh, we have two assistant principals as well we have mrs rice she works with sixth grade and seven silver so she and i work closely together and we also have Miss Carrie Snyder. She is our other assistant principal and she works with Miss Short and has seven black team and all of the eighth graders. Yes. Oh, oh hold, Miss Ingalls, we, I have a knock at the door. Um, hold on just a second, if you don't mind. Steele, hi, come on in. Hey, you guys, look who's here. This oh is Steele. Oh. oh, he's hey. telling me that he's in charge, you guys. He is going to take, he's stealing the show. Everybody say hi, hi Steele. So good to see you. Hey. All right. Yay, Sabercats. Hi, Steele. <laughs> Thank you. Good to see you. You guys, he must have known that we were getting ready to talk to you guys. He's our mascot. You'll see him around too. He's like the most important around here. He wanted to say hello, didn't he? Yeah. All right. Well, you guys know who we are. We've introduced ourselves, but um, once again, that's your counseling team. And yay, thank you, Steel, for jumping in and saying hello to our new yes. friends. All right. So we're going to talk to you real quick about what a day looks like in middle school. Um, for one thing, the day starts a little bit earlier than you're probably used to, uh, but that's okay. It is going to be jam-packed, full of fun. We start school, um, the bell rings, and you should be in your first hour class at 7.50. Our classes are 50 minutes long um, with a lunchtime um, in the middle of your uh, middle of the day, fourth hour, um, and we end our day with what we call saber time, and that's like a um, a time built in during the day that you can review assignments, get things um, straightened and organized for homework. Yes. Okay, we want to let you guys know that each grade level has two teams. So in sixth grade, we have the black team and the silver team. And what makes a team is that the fact that you share the same core teachers. And by core teachers, we are referring to those core subjects that you have. You have social studies, science, math, and language arts. So you have the same set of core teachers for each team. And that way your teams can work together. They can plan activities. Um, if you're ever absent on a day and you have a friend on your team, you can ask them um, about some of the uh, assignments that you maybe need filled in on and what to do. So um, that just helps us coordinate um, some of the scheduling. Um, it doesn't mean that you'll have classes with all your friends necessarily, but you might see them in elective classes because those are not separated by teams. So your elective classes, um, you'll see people from both teams. Thank you, Ms. Inglis. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and plug in your, your schedule for next year, the required classes that um, you have to take. Every, every sixth grader will take these, every seventh grader, every eighth grader will take one language arts class, one math, one science, one social study, 
this class, um, a whole year of PE, and then we have a class that's a, a literacy class um, or a read 180 class that's a half of a year. That's half a semester or half of a year. So your required classes will total to 5.5 total credit hours. So 5.5 means um, like hours in your day. Okay, so we're trying to get to a total of seven. Um, and that's where your, your electives or your specials classes, as you guys might call them, your your elective classes will um, add up to a total of seven, we will take care of your required classes we will automatically enroll you in those. What we're talking about today with you guys is what classes you're interested in maybe participating in for your specials, your electives. Yes. You guys know these classes as specials this year, and we call them elective classes. So what you're going to be choosing are just, you're going to be choosing just that, the electives that you need. And um, like we said, there are seven hours in your day, 5.5, five, five and a half of those classes or credits are filled up with the required classes, but the other 1.5 credits are going to need to be selected by you. And so um, we want to explain those and um, you're going to be getting a program planning guide. If you haven't already uh, received that or seen it, you'll be getting it very soon. And it tells you how many credits each class is. Um, but we have, when it's a full year class like band or orchestra, it's one credit, meaning you have that all year. Uh, we have some classes that are uh, 0.5, for example, choir, you can take half of the year or full year, it can be either. Um, and then our quarter classes that we have listed there as 0.25, those are all the other electives and that means that those are nine week classes, you have them a quarter of the year. So those are listed, we're going to review those um, in more detail on some of the other slides, but those are the ones that will be nine week classes. So you guys, um, like Mrs. Inglis said, you probably um, have this um, in front of you right now, the program planning guide and pages um, nine and 10 will tell you about um, your options. So nine and 10 in here, really helpful, tells you what these classes are all about. You'll wanna look at them so you know what you're choosing and, and what you'll be expected to do in each of those classes if you were to choose it, okay? All right, um, so your enrollment instructions. So like we said, it says in the big red um, information at the top of this right here that you need to enroll in a total of seven hours. We are taking care of your required classes, your five and a half credits. We're taking care of that, okay? So option one, um, we've got examples here is you could take a full year class like a band or an orchestra um, and you can take a semester class like choir and that's half of a year. And that could total your seven credits because we've done 5.5, okay? Band would be plus one, so 6.5 plus half would be seven, okay? If you look at option two, here's another way that it could play out. You could take a full year class because choir is also an option to be a full year. And then you could do two quarter classes like art and facts. We'll tell you what that means here in a minute. And that would equal 0.5 or half, okay? Um, quarters, if you think about it like money, a quarter class like 25 cents, okay? Two quarters is 50 cents or half of a dollar. That's kind of how we remember it. Okay, so that's another option. Option three is you could take a semester class. Again, choir is can be taken as a half of a year or full year. And then um, you could have four quarter classes or like four quarters, like the money to equal a dollar or a whole, okay? That's another way you could get to seven. Okay, and then option four is if you're not in a, you're not interested in a half a year or a whole year class, then you would choose six quarter classes or like six quarters in our money would equal a dollar and a half, okay? And then this means it would equal 1.5 credits, okay? Excellent, thank you, Ms. Short. Sure. So the next part, we just wanted to show you a screenshot of what the enrollment form will look like that you will receive. We even have it yellow in color here because your sheets are going to be yellow. Miss Short's holding one up there so you'll see what yours looks like. It's it like a golden ticket, you guys, like golden <laughs> ticket, like 
Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. This is what you want because it'll get you your golden yeah. get for middle school. Uh -huh. Yay. Um, so you're going to see um, where we have kind of marked on this uh, page. You'll have your name on yours at the top, of course, and we're we have at the top of the sheet as well. We've listed what your 5.5 credits are with those required classes you'll see. And then your step one is to choose 1.5 credits of electives. And we do have you to rank them in order of preference, or you can put a check mark like I have done. Step two says choose four alternates. It's very important here that we do have your rank in order of preference. So we're asking you to choose four and number those. You'll see that um, listed here. Um, it actually looks like our screen <laughs> needed to be bumped over just a little bit, like our number should be an yeah. alternate column. Um, <laughs> but you're going to mark your electives here. The red marks would be here. Your numbers would be listed in the alternate column. So let's make sure our red marks actually total 1.5. And they do because we have a whole uh, credit of band. And then if you have band, that's one. And then you would choose, in this case, someone chose two quarter classes, um, French and theater. Theater. Mm -hmm. 5.25. And then the alternates would be listed over here and you would have those numbered in the order. This person would want to take computer six as an alternate. That means that if we are unable to schedule one of the uh, choices of your 1.5 credits that we would immediately then look next door to your alternate column and take your first choice first um, to put you in that class in case for some reason we couldn't get you in your your first choice in your elective column. So it, we work very hard to try to make sure that you get all those classes in that elective column. Um, if we absolutely cannot, then we go to your alternates and try to put those in your schedule in the order of preference. Okay, some of the things at the bottom your teachers might be marking, those are some of the, it says teacher only. So don't worry about that part. Um, teachers will recommend uh, some sections there on that part of your form. Hey guys, if you notice, will you go back Miss Inglis for just a second on the bottom of your golden ticket, um, you'll see that it says parent signature. Um, that's just because we would love to um, have your parent help you choose which classes you're interested in and maybe explain things here and there. And plus, um, they probably are going to want to tell you stories about classes they took when they were in middle school and try to help you out um, in that way too. So um, we're asking that your parents sign it so they know kind of what you're thinking and that it tells us that they helped you choose um, classes that would be of benefit and interest for what you're after. Yes, I'm glad you brought that up and also uh, reminded me to point out the date at the top. It is listed on your form. The due date for all of these to be returned to your fifth grade homeroom teacher is February 8th. And we'll say that again because that's an important date, but wanted to remind you of that as well. It's listed on your form. Thank you, Miss Inglis. Okay, um, just we wanted to let you know, um, and this is probably more for your parents, but um, there are two math classes. There's math six and math six plus. You won't have to um, decide or worry about which class you're in. Your teacher, your fifth grade teacher will tell you, uh, what will tell us. And again, we will take care of your core classes and that includes math. Okay. And I know Miss Short, um, was good. She showed you what that program planning guide is all about, and you'll be receiving one of those to take home and review. Page 9 and 10 will be important to you. You can also find this online on our website under the counseling tab uh, on the STMS website. So now to tell you a little bit about... Um, your options. Yeah. Okay. So um, PE in sixth grade is a class that's all year. Again, we will enroll you in that. Um, it's an all year class. Super fun. We've got four, um, four PE teachers. You can see them up in this picture. One of them's the Grinch, uh, Mr. Mesa. Um, anyway, lots of fun things. Um, more information about uniforms and things um, are on this slide. Again, this is nothing for you to worry about right now. We will enroll you in your PE class. Um, it's really fun. We'll love it. We can't wait for you to meet them. 
One of your other options is theater. Our theater classes have a lot of fun. The theater class for sixth grade is a nine week class. It's an introductory class, but you get to work on building your self-confidence and just creatively expressing yourself through acting out um, certain scenarios and uh, plays and uh, kids have a great time. Uh, there's also three productions that our Summit Trail Saber Cats put on each year and you do not have to be in the theater six class in order to be part of the productions, but they have a tryout process and um, we've had a fun time with casts and crews and you can sometimes be on the stage performing or if if that's not your thing, but you like to work behind the scenes, you can do that too uh, in, the, in some of the productions. They need people for stage crew and design and so forth of the set. So if you're interested, that's one of the uh, nine week classes you can take. Okay, another option that is available to you guys next year is art. This is a nine week class. Even if you don't think you can draw, but you enjoy art, this is totally the class for you, um, very uh, great time to explore your imagination and use your creativity um, to create whatever you want. Um, lots of painting and um, we've got clay and colored pencils, different drawing, different all kinds of things. So fun stuff, um, low stress, and really it like she creates artists even when you my limit is a stick figure she's awesome okay um another possibility that you could take for a class it's a quarter class is focus on facts now facts um is an acronym and it stands for family and consumer sciences and really that means cooking okay um and then you do a little sewing unit too really fun um last year they made um, pajama pants in facts class for their sewing unit. Um, they make all, all kinds of treats, muffins and pizzas and cookies and mm -hmm. all kinds of yummy meals um, that it's, you know, a bonus time to eat during the school day. <laughs> okay, you all will, again, you have orchestra and band and choir for all those performing arts. Um, again, those can be all year. Well, orchestra and band, excuse me, those are all year and choir can be all year or half of the year. You can decide that in sixth grade. And hey guys, if you are feeling like you might be interested in playing an instrument um, next year, but you haven't been, um, you haven't participated in it at the elementary level, that's okay. You will have the opportunity next year if you want to be in the band or the orchestra, despite no knowledge or experience this year, completely fine. It's definitely an option. Yes. Okay, um, another class that you are um, able to take, another quarter class is Flight and Space. Um, and really that's um, a fun class that you get to design and engineer um, rockets and space shuttles and test them out. Um, really get to talk a lot about current um, real world aviation and space things going on in the world and the news and um, just a really great opportunity to get a little engineering um, experience under your belt. Another class that we offer is leadership today and that's a quarter class again. It is a class that kind of tells you about different leadership styles, um, different types of leaders in history, um, you get to be leaders kind of in the building and uh, community service type projects as well. Uh, they talk about the growth mindset and how you want to use that in every, have a growth mindset in every single thing that you do and every single thought that you have. Okay. Yes. So um, looking at a couple others, we have communications mm -hmm. multimedia. Um, again, it's a, a nine week class. Uh, 0.25 credits, both of these. If you love all things computers, you would want to consider doing Communications Multimedia 6 or Computer 6. You can see on the screen some of the things listed there that they will be working in. Um, those communications multimedia classes kind of build the foundation you would need if you like to do in seventh and eighth grade some of the news or announcements and the 
uh, video recording and presenting of our uh, daily announcements that we record. Our seventh and eighth grade students do that. So that will give you a good foundation if you love that kind of thing, working with the green screen. And again, computer six, just building your foundation and all of those um, publisher, Excel, PowerPoint, and all of those skills that you need um, before you would take computer one or computer two in seventh and eighth grade. All right, a couple other options we have here. Um, you can take um, a French class that's a quarter class if you're interested in learning a little bit of French, the language. Um, Spanish, same thing, it's a quarter class. We are also piloting, uh, which means we are the first to offer a brand new class called World Languages. And um, that's just, it takes a peek in a look into um, several languages just beyond French and Spanish. And it kind of lets you see the cultural differences and helps you figure out kind of like how we got some words in the English language, um, just how it all kind of ties together. So that's a quarter class as well. Yeah, so that's a summary of those elective uh, classes that you'll be choosing. Um, we'll be happy to see what you guys decide on. Um, we have, um, just, just to conclude, we want to let you guys know that you're going to get those yellow enrollment forms. We want your uh, parent or guardian to sign that and return it to your teacher by Monday, February 8th. Um, Monday, February 8th, that's an important date um, to remember to get those forms into your teacher by then, and then we'll get them and we'll start getting um, your schedule ready for next year. Uh, so um, we can't wait to meet you and um, be seeing you soon. It's been nice to be in your classrooms this morning, um, sharing with you this information. If you have questions, we are going to be seeing you a bit later in a live Zoom. And so we want you guys to take the time right now with your teachers to make a list and jot down any, you guys are gonna decide what your top five questions are for us later today when we live Zoom you. So we look forward to that and actually seeing your faces too. So it, whatever questions, burning questions you have, jot those down and we're, we'll be happy to talk those out here in a bit when we see you later today. Thank you guys. We are so excited to see you in real life next year yeah. when you're in our building. We're here for you and we're excited for you. And we wanna thank your teachers too for letting us steal some of their minutes so we can get you all set yeah. up for middle school next year. So thank, thank you teachers. You. Thank you fifth grade teachers. Thanks for working with us. We'll see you soon in the live Zoom.